All right. So, uh, before I welcome you guys, uh, I have a little bit of a problem here. I thought I was recording about a 15-minute episode of this already. Oh, it, I wasn't finished, of course, but I thought that I was recording, and I guess I wasn't recording it. So, um, this is a little bit frustrating, but, uh, welcome to SimCity Cities of Tomorrow Expansion Pack, where, uh, I'll be playing this game because I really enjoy it, and, uh, I, I think I'll enjoy commentating on it. Uh, I say that because I did enjoy it while I was doing it to no one for 15 to 20 minutes, uh, just a little bit ago. So, as we start... Let's hit play and make another, <laughs> let's make another world here. Uh, I might be making references to the last episode uh, that doesn't exist anymore. So I, I don't know. Maybe this will be episode one and a half. We'll have to figure it out. But let's create a game. Uh, Cape Trinity. <laughs> I guess I'll go through this again. Um. So, I'm not very good at this game, and I don't know how to play very well. So, although I enjoy it, I'm going to, like, dumb it down for myself so that you guys don't have to watch me suffer with, like, huge regions. So, I decided to um, pick Cape Trinity because it's very small, nice looking. Let's go to Setup Region. Since I already have... If you guys look back here, I already have eight, now nine towns. So I'll use the tenth slot, and I'll I'll name it. And this was a very long process last time. It took me about three minutes to name it. I was gonna cut that part of the video out. Wow, it just sounded like Daffy Duck. Three, three parts of it. You're just. <laughs> So the naming it part, the whole naming it part, I'm not very great at. Last time, I just, I resorted to calling it Village Number 9, because we already had eight regions going on. This one, I guess we'll call it Simpleton. 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 Simpleton, because... I'm stupid. Uh, we'll make it a private region because I really, really would enjoy playing with other people except for I don't trust other people, so I wouldn't enjoy playing with other people on a world that I'm supposed to not make progress on while people aren't watching. So next, we'll claim uh, this city over here, the mountains, has a bunch of resources if, if it'll let me view there we go uh, the resources I like to pick a place with wind and water because those those are the starting resources and this one has it this region over here clear water and this region over here Trinity Point uh, this one always has a lot of water because it's right next to a giant ocean Simpleton. <laughs> and, um, it has a lot of wind on it, too. This place is very sandy, isn't it? The ground right there. They even design the... They even design everything around it really well. So we'll do... We'll, we'll claim Trinity Point, and I guess we'll get on with the show. Is that it? Is, okay, play. Enacting drone safety laws. You see, it, I don't, I don't really think I have drones yet, so there's probably not too many laws you need to enact. I don't think you need to tune the non-existent control net transmitters either. This is the Cities of Tomorrow. If I didn't say already, this is the Cities of Tomorrow expansion pack. Oh, got a color wheel of death there. Um, so eventually we'll get to the futuristic part of it. Some of the futuristic expansion pack you get to right away. And that's, it's nice whenever that happens, because it, it does look really, really cool. As for now, let's get started. Let's get right to it. What do you want me to do? You want me to draw a road? You gonna give me any money for that? A 
Okay, no, I guess not. So we'll zone residential and have 10 more houses after we draw a road. I always like to get the utilities out of the way first. There's like a little line in the land there. This is where they drew the line. Uh, this is where pirates aren't allowed to cross. Pirates are not allowed to cross that border right there. So they can, they can storm this section of the city. They just can't do it back here where the highway is. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, I like to start the city out with the utilities part of the city because that's always you always need that and people complain right away about it. So instead of that, having them complain, we'll just have this lady complain that I'm not doing anything yet. So we'll make a dirt road out. Uh, we'll make a dirt road, a little crappy dirt road out to here. Maybe it is made out of crap. I don't know. That's really disgusting. Um, and then we'll put some sewage here. Okay, I know, I know what I did. It's all right. We'll put a sewage plant way out there, and whew, thank goodness that the wind was going that. I tried to act surprised. I tried to act surprised that the wind was going that way. I'm not surprised. I already started doing this. Uh, so this is gonna be me recreating 15 minutes of playthrough. Sorry about that. Uh, this really won't. It might not be too interesting, this part. So, just bear with me for a little bit here, guys. And, uh, we'll put the we'll put the sewage treatment plant out there right at the very end so that the pirates can smell it whenever they come into the city. That's what we can name this city. We could have something to do with pirates. Or tourism, because I, I like the idea of this being a tourist city. As for power, we'll get a wind power plant going down here. And those, they're pretty good at the beginning of the game, whenever you need them, and they're relatively cheap. A water plant, you really, this is going to be an industrial zone here, so there's a lot of water out here, a lot of water out here, simpleton, but we don't want it near the industrial because there's ground pollution that comes from the industrial buildings, and then the ground pollution gets into the water and stuff that's not good happens from that point on. So, stop wasting time. Get a road out here. Uh, since this will be a tourist place, and the industrial's over here, and the wind's blowing that direction, uh, we will make the rich area over here, and then... They won't have to deal with any of the crap that the poor people have to deal with. Over here, the lo the low class people, excuse me. Uh, so we'll make we'll make a high density street here, and right about there. Uh, I really have like, okay, so I really struggle with games like this because the the mechanics of straight lines seem to be non-existent in this game especially so I will I will place roads and replace roads and replace roads over and over again until I get them in a straight line because that's just how I play games like this and it is something that my mind won't let me take my mind off of I I won't I'm struggling with that concept. Uh, so, <laughs> so we'll make some residential areas over here. And, oh! What? What? I, I did that, and all of this happens? What? When, when did they put this in the game? I don't remember there being an update whenever they put this in. Uh, considering I've only had the game since, like, November, though, makes sense. But what? How? Uh, what? It, okay, I guess, I guess I'll use that from now on, just, like, make use and fill it up. I did not know that about this game. I always did the whole drag, but no, you can just, you can just go like that and fill it up. All right, there we go. We have a we have a U of residential now.
and then this place down here will make this all commercial because there's a lot of space below it and commercial buildings seem to be pretty big and I really I really start to enjoy the game a lot more whenever it gets to the point that the commercial buildings are big because you have the skyscrapers and the futuristic buildings and it really comes together nicely I'm not very good at multitasking uh, I probably couldn't even remember what I said five minutes ago if this has even been a five minute episode I really have no idea um, all resident I don't think that needs to be all residential so we'll have like some industrial workers over there then we'll have like um, a low class residential there what what is it called low wealth I, I don't know and then we'll have some more residential over here and that that looks good for now and we'll speed up the process of all of this happening because it really bugs me how slow this game is sometimes but that's why they put the speed option in there and I forgot to put the water tower down there's lots of water over in this area so I'll put it down right there and then that should be good the pa why was there a, fla a flashing power sign that means there's no power oh people must not have been working at the power station yet uh, before we run out of power let's get another windmill down and that five thousand dollars that's not too shabby of a price I just I really just said that not too shabby I'm sorry guys uh, I really apologize for saying that it, it shouldn't have come out never those are the pirates that I've been talking about right there as long as they stay behind this line where is it where's it? where's it? there it is that line right there as long as they stay behind the line it's okay so this will be the rich part of the town and we'll make a town hall right there and that'll be normally town halls in the middle of the town isn't it but no no not here and what are we gonna name it I normally like to name cities I might have said this already but I like to name them with what they're gonna do with the place so we'll name this we'll name this city with has something to do with tourism now what has something to do with tourism Las Vegas does Jack Poker NFL games <laughs> Speaking of which I really thought that the Broncos were going to win the Super Bowl and they didn't and I feel like such an idiot because they didn't and they got crushed and destroyed and Peyton Manning wow and that's all I have to say about that. So, uh, what? Is there like a name for a city that starts with a B? There probably is, and you guys, you guys will have it figured out. Uh, there's like B for blackjack or betting. Uh, poker paradise. There we go. Poker paradise. Won't have a gambling place or a casino until a very long time from now but for now it's poker it's still poker paradise it still is it's just gonna stay like that forever what do you want mayor the number four omega co is always looking is always looking to expand and trinity point looks like the perfect city to sell omega industry is barking at the door to get their hands on Omega so let's build a factory and start pumping it out well I mean it's it's a good thing but no because this isn't an industrial city and we don't have resources here to have Omega if we deliver enough to factories we can convert them to franchisees and charge them franchise fees that rhymes so Maybe you should not work at a factory and go be like Edgar Allan Poe or something. He didn't rhyme too much, but you could just go be like Robert Frost. I, I don't, 
Just go be Dr. Seuss. How about that? Your new name is Dr. Seuss. And no, no thanks. I know it's $36,000, but it takes a lot of money to get there. You can trust me on that one. So, well, oh, parks. Well, we're going to need parks because parks keep people happy and they look nice and they futurize things like the Excitatorium. This will be placed in the low class district over here. There we go. You guys have a slide. You guys now have a slide. Woo! AR Athletic Center. Money, money. I'm pretty sure that's a song, but I'm going to try to keep that out of my head. Maybe it'll get stuck in your head, and you'll just think about this video for the rest of the day and night and the rest of your life. That was a little bit creepy. And you you want to I think you always need more middle class and everything else because they work in the commercial and they just middle class is like there's a lot of middle class people. And a high wealth park, the Millennium Plaza, money money money. We'll go over here now that we were able to select it finally. And that'll be the uh, that'll be the high the high wealth district, way over here. Let's start making some more roads, getting some more people, making some more money. Down here, I think we could do, I think we could do the the casinos down here, in this area over here. So we'll just make make some avenues down here instead of highways fancy I know it's fancy so fancy we'll make some avenues and uh, maybe we should make them further in so that like if we have big buildings they, they'll they be able to what is that oh I held shift we'll be able to I'm sorry I'm used to photoshop shift makes straight lines and I have OCD and there we go that's a straight line it looks like and that that should get it I just tried to point at the screen like you guys could see where my finger was uh, this over here should be enough room if we ever need to put bigger gambling gambling buildings down and uh, the I think it's called a gambling HQ and just like a bunch of casinos just fill it up with bigger casinos this one, this could be a place for, like, smaller casinos. Because I think you can put, like, the hotels for them across the road. I don't know. I haven't done much with gambling yet uh, in this game. And then, what? Worker shortage. How do we have... Oh, there's a really high demand for low-wealth residential. Let's get right to it. Road. This, this arc right here kind of screws you over for the rest of the game because it just arcs aren't easy to work with they take up a lot of unnecessary space and they're not very good for like corners and stuff obviously because they don't have corners because they're arcs I should have not like I shouldn't have had to explain that but I explained it to myself so that it would make sense what do you mean Ah, I have the athletic center there Okay. We'll just make it like that then. There we go. And we really it's it's we need it so much that it's red. Even though it's green, it's a green zone. We need it so much that it's turning red. That makes sense in this game's AI, I guess. And people are dying. Who cares? Come on. Come on, who cares? People are dying. Okay, let's get a clinic down. I'll be Mr. Nice Guy. But I'm putting it on the rich side of town. Alright? That's that's my compromise. I refuse to put it where people choose to work at factories. That's it. Because the factories have to be killing people. That's That has to be what's killing people, right? That, factories always kill people. There are the... Uh, they're the worst thing in the world, factories. Nothing good ever comes out of them except for everything that we use in real life. 
It's kind of a sad realization. And some more parks, just to lighten up the mood there. Some more parks. Make Why are you not happy? Why are you not happy? I don't know. Let's see. Why don't we see why they're not happy? What's wrong with you, Robinsons? What makes what makes us happy? Okay, well, can we see what makes you unhappy? Because I would like to fix that. 67% impro approval rating, not improval rating. Who cares? Why, where's the unhappiness at? We want a place to ship our freight. Needs workers. Help our workers are dying off. So those the people that work in industrial buildings don't seem too happy for some reason. There's still a worker shortage. That might be why. So we could bulldoze some of those buildings or what I don't know what what to do here. I have an idea. Let's make a high density street going along here. Jeez, I'm having trouble selecting stuff. I haven't played this game in quite some time, so it's going to take me a while to get back into the groove of things. As they said in the 70s. Let's make it straight. Because roads are better when they're straight. And there we go. Now let's make some more low wealth residential there. And from there, uh, I guess... I guess we could call it quits from there then. Whenever whenever the dawn comes, the episode will end. So, actually, let's turn down the speed because I'm quite enjoying this commentary. And I'm, I'm not sure about you guys. You could let us know um, in the comments, but I'm not... I don't have too long of an attention span, as you may have noticed from my commentary. So, I don't like long episodes like exceeding 30 some minutes like basically half an hour because I watch a lot of YouTube and like to watch a lot of different people and different videos so I might just side scrolling I'm trying to get it centered and it's not working uh, now nah, there's low wealth commercial demand that's great so we'll make some of that and then that might make those people happy there we go. That's it. I'm not sure if high density streets or medium density avenues are better. I really, really have never tested that, and I probably should, but I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. I'm a lazy man. I'm a bit of a lazy man. Low wealth commercial is right there. Are you guys going to move in? Chop, chop. You guys want low wealth commercials so bad, they're not even moving in. I think I found the problem. I think I have found the problem. You people. You lazy buggers. Right in here. Right in here. <laughs> right in here. You guys don't want to move in because you're lazy. Mm -hmm. I don't think you guys need shopping. I don't. You can probably just take all your stuff home from the factory anyway. They won't notice. It's not like you have to take a freight count or anything before you leave the factory. That was totally sarcastic. I'm pretty sure factories do have to do that. I don't know because I don't want to get a real job. So that's just me. Uh, <laughs> commercial demand. Really? The commercial demand. Oh, there we go. It finally went down. Oh, are they being finished, built, or... Yeah, there we go. Now it's going down. Um, it's starting to get bright out. Wow, that, that really changed. Really changed there for a second. So, not a bad first episode. We made quite a very, very tiny bit of progress that episode. Uh, we'll zoom out. You can see the borderlines of the city. That's nice. That's nice. The ocean in the background. Probably some pirates coming in. Woo! Is that a jet? Did I just see a plane going by? Terrorist. Or is that a bird? No, that's a plane. I'm stupid. 
So, uh, anyway, guys, that'll be it for episode one and a half. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me this episode. I know it might have been boring, but I promise that the next episodes will be better. And we will get to the Mega Towers and the super awesome patrol cars and the drones even, maybe, if we ever decide to do Omega Co in a different city. But as for now, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you comment on things that I told you to comment on. Uh, like, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, like it anyway, because that that's the nice thing to do, isn't it? If you like the video, you like the video. So you like the video on YouTube. And then if you didn't like it, either don't do anything or like it anyway. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Stare into the sun. Where's the sun at? Where's the sun at? Seems like it's up there. Goodbye!